reservist and I'm a pediatric physical therapist. I'm here to show you how you can simulate your baby's motor skills, improve his coordination, and work to prevent developmental delays. This exercise video is filled with exercises that will stimulate your baby's development from the time he's born all the way until the time he's walking. I recommend that you slowly work up to 20 to 30 minutes of exercise a day with your baby. I want you to pay close attention to the exercises we do and take your time. I promise you will be so excited by the success of your baby. Now let's get those babies out of the swings, off the bouncers, and let's go build some muscle. Most of the exercises in this stage are going to be geared towards strengthening the neck and the trunk muscles. Before a baby can do any of the motor skills, he has to have good stability of the neck and the trunk. So we're going to start by really working on strengthening those muscles first. Now this first exercise is the most important exercise you can do with your baby. As you can see, it works all three of the muscle groups that we're interested in. It works the trunk, it works the shoulders, and the neck muscles. As Cyrus here has to balance himself on his tummy, push himself up with his arms, and hold that heavy head with his neck muscles. Good. I want you to notice that Megan is helping Cyrus to keep his elbows directly under the shoulders here. That way the weight of the body goes through the arms. Now this is a hard exercise for these little guys. You want to work up slowly to this exercise with your baby. Ideally, we'd like him to be able to do 10 or 15 minutes at a time playing on their tummy. But if your baby's less than three months old, you're going to have to slowly build up to that amount of time. This is Linda, and she's a grandmother. I know a lot of you grandmothers are taking care of your grandchildren these days. I want to encourage you to jump on in there. Don't be afraid to exercise your grandkids. It's good for them and it's good for you. We're gonna start here with a simple exercise that will help your baby learn to reach for toys. We're placing Lauren on her side, which helps to eliminate gravity. Makes the exercise a little easy, easier for her. Linda's helping her reach towards the toy, giving her a little bit of support at the, at the arm. She's letting Lauren do as much as she can. Before a baby can actually reach out and grab a toy, the baby will first start to bat at the toy. This next exercise is a fun exercise. As you can see, it's really working the trunk muscles here. I want you to notice that Megan's tilting him side to side, and she's tickling his tummy here, which helps to stimulate him to pull his head and his legs back up towards the middle of the ball. Good. Good. She's also going slowly, giving him time to respond to what she's doing. Good. Yeah. Take your time with these exercises. Now your baby may not be able to tolerate all of these exercises in stage one all at the same time. It's okay to mix them up throughout the day or even from day to day. You want to try to work up to 20 or 30 minutes by the time your baby's three months. If he's under three months, go ahead and take your time. Build up slowly. to isolate and strengthen the neck muscles with this exercise. I want you to pay very close attention to the techniques that we're going to be using with this exercise. We have Lauren positioned at an angle here, which makes the exercise a little bit easier for her since she doesn't have to fight gravity as much. Good. Now Linda is bringing her shoulders down and forward to keep Lauren from shrugging her shoulders upward. This helps us to isolate those neck muscles a little bit more. Good. 
She's also waiting for Lauren to tuck her chin down before she pulls her all the way up into sitting. This is very important. You never, ever, ever want to pull a baby up with his head lagging behind. You could cause injury to the neck. Now once your baby can do this exercise easily, meaning that his head is not lagging behind, he's not grunting or struggling with this exercise, then you can make it a little bit harder by doing this exercise from a flat level surface. Good, we're gonna do the same exercise. She's pulling the shoulders down and forward. She's waiting for that chin to tuck before she pulls her on up into sitting. You may only be able to pull your baby up about halfway if that head starts to drop backwards, and that's okay. You can just work in that small range until your baby gets strong enough to be able to pull all the way up into sitting. But if your baby's head is lagging all the way behind from the start, you wanna go ahead and go back to doing the exercise from the angle. We're gonna start working on strengthening the shoulder muscles here. You're going to want to make sure that your baby can make good eye contact with both you and with a toy before you begin this exercise. You're also going to want to use a toy that is easy for your baby to grab a hold of and that is colorful and one that he likes. Kim is using this toy, thin, easy to grab. She also has Kaylee in a great position here. Her back is well supported and her shoulders are brought forward just a little bit so it's easy for her to get those hands to the middle. Kim is helping Kaylee just a little bit here at the shoulder to help her reach for that toy, but she's wanting her to do as much as she can by herself to help work those muscles. Once she has the toy, I want her to go ahead and hold that toy against gravity. She can start working on bringing it to her mouth, but it'll help work those shoulder muscles as she holds that heavy toy. to the second stage of our exercise program, which focuses more on stimulating balance. We're still going to work on strengthening those trunk muscles because the trunk muscles are the key to balance. We're going to get a little more aggressive in this section, so stay with me. You need to make certain that your baby can easily do all of the exercises in stage one before you progress on to stage two. Now this next exercise is my favorite exercise because the babies usually love it and you can make it a lot of fun. It's a good exercise to do in front of a mirror if you have one available. Now this exercise really challenges Sienna's balance here. As John tilts her from side to side, you can see that it forces her to use those tummy muscles to pull herself back up to the middle of the ball. Good. Now if your baby's having difficulty pulling himself back up to the middle, try not to tilt him quite as far to the side. Make it a little bit easier for him. The other thing you wanna watch is the shoulders. If your baby's starting to shrug his shoulders up, you know that the exercises become too difficult for him. So you either want to decrease how far you're tilting from side to side, or you wanna raise your hand support from the hips to maybe around the chest. That would make the exercise a little bit easier. Now, if you don't have a ball, that's okay. You can still do this exercise, like Kim and Kaylee here. Make sure that the baby does not wrap his legs around your legs to hold on. We want them to make sure they use their trunk muscles for balance and not their leg muscles. So you wanna make sure the legs are in front and not to the side. Now your baby should be good at pushing himself up on his tummy. He's developed that good trunk strength, which is what we want. Now we're going to take him a step further and challenge him to use that strength to balance and shift his weight so he can reach for a toy on his tummy. With this exercise, you want to make sure that you keep the elbow underneath the shoulder directly. That way, when you shift the weight over to that arm, the baby's able to balance on that arm. You can see here, as Tina shifts the weight over to the one arm, it frees Avery's other hand up so she can reach for a toy. 
Now as Avery gets better with this, she'll be able to do this more by herself without Tina's help. This not only teaches Avery to reach for the toy, but it also helps her develop the muscles that she will need later for rolling. Rolling from back to tummy is a hard exercise for these kids. It requires a lot of strength. They have to use their trunk muscles to pull their legs and their body all the way over while they lift their entire body weight with one arm. It's difficult. This exercise is going to stimulate your baby to roll. By practicing this exercise over and over again, you can actually build the muscles for your baby to roll by himself easily and at an early age. There's a couple of things I want you to watch with this exercise. The first is that Kim has given Kaylee an incentive to roll. She's used a toy that Kaylee likes and she's placed it just out of reach so that Kaylee wants to roll over to get the toy. The other thing we're, we're going to do is watch the hand position. We're going to start on the side. Kim's got her hand on the hip. She's pulling down and forward on the hip. And at the same time, she's tickling the tummy with her fingers. It stimulates Kaylee to use those trunk muscles to roll on over. Let's watch this again. It's a little bit tricky here. We have an incentive for Kaylee to roll. She's pulling down and forward on the hip, tickling the tummy, and on over. Good. Now, if you're having difficulty with the baby rolling over after you've pulled down on the hip and you've tickled the tummy, you can try one more thing. You can try using your other hand just under the armpit to help lift the baby over just a little bit. start working on sitting balance here, you're going to want a good solid surface for this exercise. We're using a changing table. You can also use your crib if it's got a good firm mattress, or you can also do this exercise on the floor. That's okay too. We're going to start the exercise with the baby facing away from you because your thumbs are going to be the tool that you're going to use to help stimulate those back muscles to pull the baby up straighter. You can see John's giving Sienna just enough hip support here so that she's not falling over, but at the same time, he wants to make her work as hard as she can to sit up. Yeah. Now his thumbs are going to rub down along, the back, along her back here to help stimulate those muscles to pull her back up straighter when she starts to lean forward. You can see she's leaning forward here. He's going to pull her back up. Good. It might help, too, to give her a toy to use to help, help her sit up taller. Yeah. Good. Another way we can do this exercise is like Kim and Kaylee over here. Kim is using a support pillow to give Kaylee just enough support around the hips so that she's not falling over, but it also makes her really work to sit up straighter. You can make this exercise a little bit harder by making your baby reach up and out for a toy like Kim is with Kaylee really makes them work those trunk muscles. Well, here we are at the third section of our exercise program. And I have to tell you, this is my favorite time of development. Your baby is going to take off and go in this section. All of the strengthening and the balance skills that he's learned in the first two stages are going to be put into literal motion in this stage. The first exercise we're going, to we're going to do is teaching your baby how to move from laying down on the floor to sitting up. You're going to start with him on his side, with the hand on his hip, and you're going to pull on his hip and lift just a little bit underneath the trunk. Let's watch this one more time here. You're going to pull on, down on the hip and lift up on the trunk. Good. You see that weight bearing he's getting through his arm? That's just what we want. Learning to creep on hands and knees is a very difficult but important skill for your baby. 
It is a vital skill for developing the strength and the coordination that he will need for the next several years. So it's really important that your baby not skip this skill. We're going to start by simply teaching your baby how to balance on his hands and knees first. We're going to watch Sharon help Drew get into this position. Starting on his tummy. Good. She's going to start bringing the hips up, bringing the knees underneath the hips. There you go. And then she's going to move to the shoulders and hold him at the shoulders letting him balance in this position. You want to keep the hand underneath the shoulder if you can and the knee underneath the hip. Now once your baby can balance himself well on his hands and knees, you can go ahead and take him a step further and challenge him to balance and also shift his weight and reach for a toy. We're going to watch Chris here as he is helping Tyrus shift his weight to one arm while he reaches with the other. Make sure you keep this arm straight under the shoulder, which helps Tyrus to balance his weight on that arm as he shifts his weight over to that side. Good. next two exercises that we're going to do are going to help stimulate your baby to pull himself up to a standing position. Now before a baby can pull himself up to standing, he has to be able to first balance well on his knees and then maintain that balance as he pulls himself up to stand. So this first exercise, we're going to work on balancing on the knees. Sean here is working on getting Blake into the position. She's using one hand here to hold his chest up and another here at the buttocks to push the buttocks forward. So she's kind of holding him in that upright position. Good. You want to make sure you give your, your infant something to play with to keep him occupied. And we really want to work towards increasing the amount of time he can play in this position. Good. One thing you want to be careful of is sometimes as the infant's fatigue, they will start to sit back on their heels and you really want to keep those hips right over the knees. Keep those hips forward there. Good. And as your baby gets stronger, as you can see here, Blake's not needing as much support at the chest. So you can just keep supporting him at the hips until he gets strong enough to do that to himself too. Good job. Once your baby can balance well on his knees, then you can begin to work on pulling up to a standing position. You want to make sure that the, the object that your baby's pulling up to is a good stable object so it doesn't tip when they're trying to pull up. Kelly here is stimulating Marshall to stand by pulling up on his trunk and letting him finish the stand by himself. Let's watch this again. We're going to start in the kneeling position. She's going to pull up on the trunk and let him finish the standing position. Good. Now as Marshall gets better at this, Kelly isn't going to have to help as much. We are finally in our last stage of development. You've done a great job to get this far. In this last stage, we're going to watch everything come together and get coordinated. You're going to watch your baby coordinate strength, balance, and movement as he learns to walk. It is so amazing. A baby first learns to walk holding onto furniture for balance. We call it cruising. Cruising actually strengthens the muscles in the legs and in the trunk for walking later. Kelly here is teaching Marshall how to cruise by shifting his weight from one leg to the other. I want you to notice Kelly's hand position here. She's holding on Marshall at the hips, not at the shoulders, which forces him to balance using his trunk muscles. You need to keep your hands at the hips. You also need a good distraction for your baby. step 
towards walking is being able to balance yourself without holding on. A great way to encourage your baby to stand without holding on to something is to give him a toy, two toys that he can hold with both hands. Good. Again, you want your hand position to be at the hips, so you're holding on to him. He's not holding on to you. That way you can let go of him without him realizing it. Good. You want to gradually increase the amount of time he's able to stand by himself. You may need to have several toys handy to replace the one he has in his hand as he becomes bored with that toy. Good. Good job. Now once your baby is able to stand by himself, holding on to something, you can go ahead and start this exercise. It's similar to the exercise we did before, cruising, except for this time we're going to be going forward instead of sideways. The hand position is again at the hips, except for this time the hands are turned upside down, which makes it easier for you. Notice how Robin is shifting his weight from one leg and then to the next. Good job. Now if your baby is having difficulty holding the chest up, you can try using a push toy in front of him to keep his weight forward. As you can see here, Jody's doing the same exercise using a push toy. Her hands are again at the hips, and she's shifting his weight from one leg to the next. Good job. Good. And good job to you too. You have finally completed your first year of exercises. I challenge you to take these exercises, to use them, and to watch the miracle of development take place before your eyes. God bless you.